Hey, what's up, guys? This is Parabola here, and I'm coming at you guys with a short video today. Just running through my settings. Um, these are the settings that I like to play with. A couple of you guys might have a couple different add-ons enabled that I don't, and that's fine. Uh, I made this because a couple people have asked me what my settings are in the game, and let's just run through those real quick. I'm not going to be too descriptive with that. I do have a video going more in depth with settings not only in the launcher but in the game itself and I'll link that uh, at the end of the video or at some point right now maybe somewhere on the screen um, if not it'll be there at the end of the video but moving forward let's just start right at the front over here with extensions the little puzzle piece right from the home screen awesome launcher by the way uh, whoever's using the light mode you guys are nuts ah sorry <laughs> so let's start with the add-ons um, I use all maps uh, aspect is off call for help change call chat mon are all off chat mon don't even get me started with that thing I can't stand that uh, yeah <laughs> my checker is on clock is on configurations are on uh, craft mon is off I like surprises um, distance draw distance are both on eternity is off my equipment is on, filter list is on, filters are off, FPS is on. I'm um, just going to touch on this one really quick. This is a really good setting to have on. This allows you to uncap, put it at FPS 60 or FPS 30 or even higher, lower than that, which I do not recommend because um, going way too high will force you to restart your game, but FPS 1 will make it fps 60 and fps 2 this is fps 30 fps 0 ends up uncapping the game which if other settings are not set right it can lead to some um some funny moments with your character just running really fast in place try it out just for fun one day uh my recommendation is just to use fps 1 if your computer can handle it it'll make the game run a lot smoother but in higher density zones i do recommend going to fps 2 so it draw uh, drops it back down to fps uh, 30 fps that way when there's a lot of stuff going on, on the screen the game does tend to lag a little bit and going fps 2 will allow you to um just alleviate some of that and actually be able to move around and control your character a little bit better but you'll see what i mean i definitely recommend fps 2 for like dynamics or just stuff where there's a lot of stuff going on maybe there's a lot of parties around you or you have a lot of battle effects on for whatever reason. My hide console is off. HXUI is off. Um, a lot of yours, HXUI will probably be on. I've been playing the game for a little while, so uh, HXUI was not on the launcher before. It used to be a separate add-on that you had to download. That's why mine is off. So I recommend turning it on. It's awesome thing that they did putting it on the launcher. It's a really useful add-on that everybody uses. My IME is off, uh, IMGY style is on, instant auction house for those um, instant auction house sale messages is on. I want to know if my stuff sold. My links are off, my logs are off, uh, my Lua Ashitacast is off. Right now I'm working on probably transferring a lot of my gear swap stuff to XML and kind of getting into uh, that side of stuff. So I will be learning that soon. Or just learning how to set it up. Um, macro fix, mob, uh, DB, no lock, pet info, recast are all on. Pet info is great if you're a beast master. Um, I'm sure it works the same if you're a summoner. I'm not a summoner though. I've, I haven't played summoner and I can't really say on that. Uh, no lock is important, by the way. No lock is a really good um, add-on to have on. It stops you from being animation locked. For example... Like at the end of battle, if you guys remember back in the day, or maybe back before they put this on the uh, the launcher. Sometimes if your character was being healed right at the end of battle, you would get animation lock. This pretty much stops that. And other instances where that would happen. Recast is on. Uh, sex change, single race, STFU are all off at the moment. Uh, sex change just lets everybody be one sex, um, and then single race, I guess you can, you know, change everybody to like a Galka or a Taru if you want. 
target lines are on this is really helpful let's you know what other party members are targeting and what party member the monster is targeting who's casting heals on who super useful not too invasive timers are on um uh, timestamp is on tea party is on and that's pretty much it for the add-on side on my end uh plugins i don't have many on um as you can see hardware mouse legacy is all off minimap is on my nameplate is on packet flow shorthand and tune are all off i saw this earlier i'm not really sure what this does i might check in on that later uh, uh yeah i don't know i'll be back with that but let's move forward over in the settings my general this is what it looks like hardware mouse sound uh always play sound they're all on i don't want to see the movie every time i go on um my gamma is at 0 0.05 so it's a little bit higher uh you can set it higher if you want lower let's put it at 0 0.8 actually max number of sounds are at max my launcher music volume is at 10 my window resolution 1920 by 1080 i do borderless windowed which i recommend everybody doing otherwise i don't think the game runs too well um over in the graphics side graphic stabilization on map compression maintain aspect ratio all on let's move over here real quick i know some of this might be important to you uh, some people so my background res resolution is a uh, 2880 by 1620 and then my menu resolution is 1920 by 1080. This is what works for me using um, a 1920 by 1080 kind of style. So try that out if you're having some aspect ratio issues. Bump mapping is off. 3D LCD mode is on. Environment smooth all the way. Textures are on high. My fonts are on high. My MIP mapping is on 3. Over in the pivot side, uh, I still have Ash and Bub's HD textures. I also love these. Um, Horizon XI music is on. I love some of the tracks that the uh, the staff and whoever else is putting them together have done. Uh, so great job. Really appreciate that, guys. XI View is on. Uh, over in the miscellaneous side. Yeah, I think this is just all normal stuff. Uh, just want to touch on what like two or three in-game settings real quick i'm not going to go too in-depth with those but going from the launcher let's log in real quick all right so from right here guys i am currently in juno this is my character some of you may know from my past videos. Hello? Yes. Um, so let's just go on over to the configurations menu. And my gameplay menu ends up looking like this. Uh, so my gamma adjustments for RGB are set almost all the way up. And I also always do set when I start the game. I know it may look a little like this. We do the F11 trick that I show you guys in one of my previous videos for the color fix. And F11, hit the insert key, remember ambient color, and then bring this guy all the way down to something, you know, that's acceptable to you. Creepy. Right now, 92 is looking pretty well. But over in gameplay, this is what it ends up looking like. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of these. I have been rethinking about uh, redoing the basic settings video that I did. But for right now, if you guys want a more in-depth explanation into how these work, you can check that video out. Um, we went through the gameplay. I wanted to show you guys, yeah, just a quick run through of what mine looked like. So, for the miscellaneous two. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, um, those are my settings for the game. I uh, hope you guys just answered any questions. You guys enjoyed the video.
remember to um throw me a like hit me with a subscribe if you guys are enjoying the content you want to see more i definitely have more videos coming out uh maybe some with some macros how to make a macro how to uh i don't know how to do just some more more cool stuff in final fantasy more basic things so if you have any questions you can always check me out on twitch i try to stream every day over at parabola underscore tv and uh i'll catch you guys later i hope you enjoyed the video parabola out